One day I came to him, we were so thirsty. He asked for water, his soul was so dry. Christ gave us water that we have ever drank of, and for the water. Oh Lord, I had to die. Christ said, I thirst. Hallelujah, Jesus. And the ocean. Yes, hallelujah. I expect the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Christ was not first in the kingdom of all ages. of the Lord. Praise God. We want to thank you so much, Sister Janet Wright. Smile for singing this wonderful song for us. We bless the name of the Lord. May God continue as you do use as a vessel for him. No matter where you is, God is always, wherever you is, God is there and he's worthy of all praise. So we give God thanks for using you to sing this wonderful song. Bless, bless the name of the Lord as we come down to the midst of the matter. At uh, this time, we're going to ask to Angelis Rowan Smiley. We bring us the word. We know him. He's no stranger to us. We bless the name of the Lord. And we put uh, whatever God put on his heart. You know, whatever God lay on his heart, that's what he's going to bring for God's people. So as we receive evangelists, I pray God may continue to use you and he may speak for his people. In Jesus' name, Evangelist Smiley. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus. Father, give, we give you praise, we give you worship, we give you honor, we give you glory. We lift you up and we magnify you. Because you are God and God alone. From the rising of the sun. And to the setting of the same. So we give you praise. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We give you all the worship that you deserve, my God and my Father. Jesus, we, we thank you, O oh great God, for being the God of all creation. Hallelujah to your name, my God. Hallelujah to your name, my God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Jesus, let the word come forth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come now, Holy Spirit, we need you. Jesus, hallelujah. Come now, Holy Spirit, we pray. Hallelujah. Come Jesus. in your love and your power, great God. Come Jesus, in your own Lord, special Lord. way, Holy Spirit. Come hallelujah, Lord. Jesus. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. That's your glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you worship. We magnify you in the beauty of holiness, great God. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We invite you, Lord. 
in this glory, room right glory, now. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Jesus, we are invited yes. to presence, mighty God. Hallelujah. Without you, Lord, we are hopeless, Lord. Thank we ask you, Jesus. Right now to separate the atmosphere. Glory, glory, the glory, Jesus glory to God. By himself, right glory, now. Glory, 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 glory to Jesus. God. Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just want to greet everyone in line tonight. Hallelujah. We want to greet the ministers. Yes. Great God of heaven, yes. Mount Zion, Spring Valley tonight. We want to greet Pastor Frey. We want to greet all the deacons. You know, you might slip me to call all the names tonight, but uh, Evangelist Reed, uh, Deacon Grant, and all the other deacons and evangelists. In, in the house, I just want to say greetings tonight. And, you know, just for the whole stock of Abraham, mm -hmm. tonight we just want to say greet. We greet you in the mighty, precious, and exalted name of Jesus. You know, I just want to say it, 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 it's an honor for me to be on here tonight. Um, I, I don't take doing service for God lightly. I, I take it serious, doing service for God. Because I know it's not an it it's not a light thing, it's not a light matter to come and say that we are representing the God of all creation. Uh when we when, when we are representing kings and queens and, and, and princesses on earth, we, 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 we have to represent them in ways sometimes that we, we, we don't even really believe they deserve it sometimes, but we do it because that is the, the way they set it to be. But when we are coming before the great God of all creation. He deserves more than any king, any queen, any, 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 any dignitary on earth could ever deserve. So tonight we just want to say glory, hallelujah, for the most high God. Glory, hallelujah. So take greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Glory to God. Yes, um, tonight, the message which the scripture was already read tonight. The scripture was already read, which is uh, Luke, Luke 23, verse 39 to 43. And my topic to you tonight is remember me. Glory to God. Remember me. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, remember me. Glory to God. Remember me. And I know that there's a lot of us out here tonight that might be saying the same thing. Oh, Lord, remember me. Lord, remember me. Remember me Jesus. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Lord, I'm going through some circumstances and some situation. But I'm asking you to remember me. Mighty God, I might be taking a trip somewhere and I need your coverage. Lord, remember me. My God, I, I, I've been facing some situation now for a while. I've been sick. I've been, I've been struggling with, 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 with financial situation. Lord, remember me. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, Lord, remember me tonight. So, tonight, the message I want to bring across to you is, Lord, remember me. And as you see, I have my sister here with me tonight, evangelist. Ways so my heart to come and sit in with me to you know catch me up tonight. So I just want to introduce to you also evangelist ways some with me tonight. Uh, I just want to want to say hi <laughs> to the to the Spring Valley family. Glory to God. Praise God. Praise God. Glory to God. First, I must give honor to the Holy Spirit, which is the head Glory of my God. life, and to the Spring Valley. We, uh, tonight I just say greetings in the mighty name of Jesus to the pastor, evangelist, Glory deacons and members and everyone online. Take greetings for yourself. Praise God. Glory Amen. to God. Glory to God. You know, there, there is this, um, there is this, Mighty Redeemer Jesus. You know, I've been having a little struggle here tonight and something just give me a quick second there. Something just yes, shift yes. out the place there. Give me a quick second. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Praise God. God. Praise God. But no matter what the circumstances may be, 
God is always there for me. No matter what the circumstances may be, God is always there. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yes. I, I, I've been, you know, I've been a little struggle with stuff here tonight, but thank God, you know, it, it's, you know, by the grace of God, we're going to get it done in the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah to your name. You know, there's a song that I want to hum for you before I go into the meet of this matter tonight. I'm going to ask my sister to sing along with me tonight. And it's, it's simple said this. Remember me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Jesus. Glory to God. Oh, remember me. Lord, remember me. Jesus, remember me. And when the sea tears on thy throne, hallelujah. Oh, Lord, is there someone on the line tonight? Is heart in the Lord tonight? Lord, remember me. Oh, Lord, remember me. Hallelujah. In window see, yes, on thy throne. Oh, Lord, Remember me, Hallelujah, Jesus, one more time. Lord, remember me. Yes, remember me. Oh Lord, remember me. And when thou see this on thy throne, Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, oh Lord, Lord, remember me. me. Glory to God. 
to God, glory to God. Jesus. Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Glory to God. We thank you for your presence among Hallelujah. us. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. 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 My might. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Jesus. Remember us, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Remember us tonight. My Lord. God. My God. My God. Trouble some time are here, Lord. Remember us. Jesus. Jesus. We are going through trying times, Lord. Glory Remember us. God. Remember us. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I, I don't know for anyone that is on this line tonight, but I know, I, 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 I am sure everyone on this line tonight is going through something. Glory to God. And we need the Lord to remember us in the name of Jesus. Glory to your name, Lord. So the scripture said here, mighty God, and, and one of the malefactors, which were, which were hung, rail on him. Saying, if so be, my God, the Christ, save us. But, but the other answer and rebuke him, saying, Does not thou fear God? My God. Seeing that thou art in the same condition, and we indeed justly for our mighty God, Justly for we received due reward of our deeds. But this man had done nothing, mighty God. Jesus. This man had done nothing. So we understand that Christ was nailed on the cross between two teeth, Glory to my God. Glory to and what I'm getting from this scripture right here is that a lot of people, even when they find themselves in wrongs, my God, they cannot find that place to submit themselves mm -hmm. and to admit that they are in the wrong. It doesn't matter even when they're facing their loss. Oh, they God. still behaving in ways that is unseemly. Jesus. Great God of heaven. They behaving in ways that is unseemly. So two was there beside Christ. One of them come to the understanding that yes, I've done some wrongs. Yes. And for my wrongs, I'm hung here tonight. But the other one could not humble himself. He's facing death. And here is the one that, that, that can give life. Here is the one that, the, oh great God of heaven, as it just jumped in my thought, many are people that work into the nursing home. Great God of heaven. And sometimes I don't work there, but I understand these things. And sometimes you work amongst people who have been all their life doing wrongs. Right people on. who have been living contrary to the will of God. People who have been doing wicked things. Glory to God. People who have been going about doing all kind of unseemly things. Jesus. And now they are facing their end. Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. 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 But even in that moment, if you go to them and bring the word of God Almighty to them, instead of they humble themselves, some of them don't even want to hear it. I remember one time, great God of heaven, when I used to go to uh, this 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 um, old age home with one of the evangelists by church. And I remember there was a day we went there to have service and there was some of them that was there that, that, that was enjoying the service and, 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 and making well of the service. But there was an individual there. He did not want to hear no sanction. He did not want to hear the name of Jesus mentioned. He did not want to hear anything about God. Mighty God. And they have to take him away from that area. And bring him into another area. Because he just did not want to hear it. And I am looking at this man and saying, do he know? Does he know that he is about to face his God? Does he know that he is running the last leg of his journey? Does he know that it is about to wrap up? Does he know that after this, he's going to stand before the judge of all creation? But he's saying at that moment, he don't want to hear. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. So here is this, my God, Jesus. two in the video. And, and, and I believe it must be a reason why there was two. Great God of heaven. And one of them is there. The, the, the Savior divine is there who can give 
him salvation even in that moment. But he decided, as they have a saying, thank you, Jesus. They like to be wrong and strong in the name of Jesus. And we know today, even in our church, sometimes we have some. It doesn't matter what they do. You cannot go to them and tell them that they're wrong because they have this wrong and strong attitude. But I am here to tell somebody, oh, great God of heaven, there was two beside Christ. Jesus. And we can choose today which one of them that we will be represented by in the name of Jesus. We will choose which one of them, mighty God of Daniel, that we want to be like today in the name of Jesus. Because I am here to tell you, there are still those that reel in on Christ today. There are still those that not looking out against Christ today. There are still those. Jesus. Hallelujah. There are still those that is speaking Mighty God of Daniel, pompous word concerning Christ. There are still those who refuse to be humble. There are still those that refuse, our oh, great God of heaven, to acknowledge their sins. There are still those that refuse to go down on their knees in their time, mighty God, when their sins is out to them, Jeez. great God of heaven. Jeez. But they want to be wrong and strong. But I thank God for the other that was on the other side of the cross tonight. That was on the other side of Christ, a matter of fact. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And that one come to his senses. Mighty God of Daniel. And he said Christ. When thou comest. Remember me. When thou comest Lord. Remember me Jesus. Jesus. When thou comest. When thou, when thou goest mighty God. Remember me, remember me great God. Mm. And you would want to think that the other one would look on. And say you know something. Because I trust and believe if he have changed his pastor at that time, if he have changed the way that he was acting at that time, if he have changed the way how they have behaved at that time, if he have humbled at that time, great God of heaven, I trust and believe the Christ of all creation would have said the same thing to him. Yes. That when, mighty God, I say to you this day, I am saying to you this day, that when I go into my kingdom, Great God of heaven, you will have a place beside me. When I come into my kingdom, you will have a oh, great God of heaven. Salvation is waiting for you. Yes, you're dying here today. Great God of heaven. And as some would say that Christ tell him that particular day that he was going to be in heaven with him. But I am here to tell somebody it is not so. Because Christ did not go to his kingdom that day. Oh, great God of heaven. But what Christ was saying to that man that day, when that day of reckoning come, when that day of reckoning come, yes. great God of heaven, Hallelujah. you will rise with me. Amen. Hallelujah. There are many that tell people yes. when you, your people die that they're in heaven looking down. But I, and that is not the message today. But just because that jump into my heart, I will just say, no, it is not so. Christ is saying to that man, when I am resurrected, when Oh, great God, you, mighty God, when the dead and the trumpet shall sound, oh, great God, and the dead in Christ shall rise, then on that day, you will be in the number. As John saw, great God, of a great number. Yes, Lord. Glory Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. So Christ is saying, you will be in that number. Yes. Hallelujah. But that one over there, Mr. Wrong and Strong over there. Mr. Who don't want to submit over there. Mr. Who cannot humble himself over there. Mr. Who cannot be meek and gentle over there. Mr. Who think that he's big and mighty over there. There's another place for him. Yes. And I am here to tell somebody today. Pay attention to the two that was on the cross. Mm -hmm. Beside Jesus. And make it up in your mind tonight. Which one of them you want to be like. Oh, great God of heaven. Too many times that we are in for the house of God. And we are there for years and years. But we cannot, ah, uh, great God, exercise humility. We are in the house of God for years. But we cannot, ah, uh, great God, humble. When, when, when a minister comes to us and say that uh, you're stepping out of line. You're behaving in the ways unseemly. Uh, coming back into alignment. We, 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 we want to say we are our own big man. We are our own big, oh, great God of heaven woman. And we don't have to listen to you. And we will frown and we will behave in ways that we're not supposed to. But I am telling somebody today. Remember the two that was on the cross before Christ. Yes. Which one you will align yourself with tonight? Yes. Which one you will be like tonight in the name of Jesus? Jesus? Because I am here to tell you. One will be into the kingdom of Almighty God. But one will be with the devil. One. Oh great God of heaven. Oh Lord remember me. Glory to your name, most high God. Jesus. 
Glory to God. Mighty God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory. There are many things. Jesus. There's always someone, my God. There's always someone that asks in the Lord to remember me. There's always a reason for us to ask God to remember us. Mighty God of Daniel. Always circumstances and situation. My God. But I am here to tell somebody tonight. God also asks us to remember him. Hallelujah. God also asks us to remember him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So just like oh, the, 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 the thief on the cross said, remember me. And just like how many of us today are still saying to God, remember us. Oh, great God of heaven. There are some of us, my God, only time we want to, to, to come into alignment with God is when there is a trouble in our life, when there's sickness in our life, when there's circumstances in our life, when there's problem in our life, when our kids is getting in trouble, and we don't know what to do. That is when we want to ask God to remember us. Mighty God of Daniel. Hallelujah. And yes, just like the thief on the cross, the Lord will remember you. Yes, hallelujah. Great God of heaven. Glory. But there's a scripture that said, Remember now thy creator in thy youth. Jesus. Hallelujah. Remember now thy creator in thy youth. When the evil, mighty God, the, 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 let me just paraphrase the old days draw near. When you shall say, I have no pleasure in them. Mighty God. Glory to God. Jesus. Many that are young today, my God, and feel like they have youth on their side. Great God of heaven. They don't feel like they have no time for God. They don't have no place in their life for God. They will go about and party. They will go about and drink. They will go about and sue. They will go about humanizing. They will go about with man and all kind of something. Oh, great God of heaven. Because they feel like they have time. But the Lord is saying to somebody tonight, remember now thy creator in thy youth. Because let me tell you something. Every time the clock tick, you're getting older. Amen. Every time the clock move, you're getting older. Amen. You're one day closer. Great God of heaven. You're one day closer to being in the grave. And let me tell you something. In this dispensation that we're living, it's not only all your, all, all, all people are dying. Because I see that more young people is dying today more than the old people. So I am here to tell somebody, remember thy creator in thy youth. While well, the evil days draw close. Jesus. Mighty God of Daniel. When sickness draw close. Mighty God. When you should say I have no pleasure. My God. There's many that are committing suicide. Why? Because of stress and depression in this time. Great God. And it is young people that is doing it. Glory to God. Because they shall say I have no pleasure. Mighty God of Daniel, one bad relationship and I have no pleasure in, 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 in this life. One bad circumstances, I have no pleasure in this life. Some have a good job and they lose it. I have no pleasure in this life. Mighty God of Daniel, but when the good days are here, sometimes you don't even pray before you go to your bed. Hallelujah, Jesus. When the good days are here, you don't remember your creator. But great God of heaven, the scripture is saying tonight, remember thy creator. Hallelujah. Mighty Redeemer Jesus. In Psalms 105 verse 4 to 5. Mighty God. David said, remember me, O Lord. With thy favor. That thou have shown to thy people. Great God of heaven. So even David, a king in Israel. Know that he need the Lord to remember him. Because there's times in our life, great God of heaven. There's times in our life when situation and circumstances get so serious. That we need to say, Lord, remember me in this moment, Lord. Remember me, great God of heaven. Hallelujah. But I am here to tell somebody. Seek a friend before you need a friend. Seek the Lord before you need him in the name of Jesus. That when that time comes. You can truly say, Lord, remember me in the name of Jesus. When thou comest into thy soul, my God, remember. oh Lord, remember me. Hallelujah. Psalms 125, Psalms 25, 6 to 7. Mighty God, remember, oh Lord. Remember, mighty God of that hill. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Psalms 25. Mighty God, Psalms 25, verse 6 to 7. Find that scripture for me. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Psalms 25. Verse 6 to 7. 6 to 7. Remember, O Lord, 
Thy tender mercy and thy loving kindness. Hallelujah. For they have been ever of hold. Hallelujah. Remember not the sins of my youth. Hallelujah. Nor my transgression. According to thy mercy. Hallelujah. Remember thou me for thy goodness. Hallelujah. For sake, O Lord. Glory to God. Good, Hallelujah. Good and upright is the Lord. Yes. Therefore will he teach sinner in the way. Hallelujah. Glory. So yes, there's always somebody. Amen. Say, Lord, remember Amen. me. But the key is not to wait, mighty God of Daniel. The key is not to wait until you're back against the wall to remember God. The key is to remember God. Some of us will wake up into the morning and we run out to work because we made the work more important than our communication with God, by our, than our reverence with God. But as soon as my God, we feel a little pain somewhere and we go to the doctor and the doctor said the test result don't look good, then all of a sudden we are calling up all those that we know that have a connection with God and say, go tell your God to remember me. Mm, Hallelujah. Pray for me. But when things is good, my God and my Father, they would act in ways unseemly. They would behave in ways unseemly. But I am here to tell somebody tonight, there's a day that is coming. Mighty God, you're going to need the Lord to remember you. Mm -hmm. Holy One of Israel. Glory and as we go to Nehemiah 13, verse 14, and it said, remember me, me O God, concerning this and wipe not out, my God, my good deeds that I have done can, for thy house of thy God and for the office thereof. So here is one right here, my God, that find himself into a straight Nehemiah. Glory to God. But Nehemiah was one that worshipped God. Nehemiah was one that served God. Nehemiah was one that worked for God. So Nehemiah can say in this case when he's in a street and know that God will hear. Remember me, O oh God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Remember me, O oh God. Mighty God of Israel. Remember me. Remember me. Mighty God. In this good deeds that I have done, my God. Remember the good things that I have done. Remember the time that I was in service, my God. Remember the time, great God of heaven, that sin was falling. And I still go to church, my God. Remember, great God of heaven, when I was not feeling well. But I still go to church, my God. Remember, great God of heaven. Remember the days I spent cleaning the sanctuary. Remember the days I spent feeding the sick. Remember me, oh great God of heaven. So the scripture is saying here, don't wait until when you're in need to say, God, remember me. Yes, he will still do so. But I am here to tell somebody, it is best for you, mighty God, to, 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 to build up. Uh, as somebody said, pray, put down. Great God of heaven. So do good deeds, put on. I'm not saying that it's good deeds that get you into the presence of God. Nonetheless, great God of heaven, it is a good communication pipe with God. Hallelujah. 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 Right Hallelujah. Psalm 74. Jesus. Verse 2. Mighty God. David. One who is always in trouble. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So I am telling somebody today. One of the reasons why I, my God, I remember I go through a little period when I was not down. And I remember in those times, my God, I was just in Mount Vernon Hospital right there. And I could see down by the hospital. And I could see from the hospital where the church was. And I used to look down to the church. And at the condition I was at the time, I did not know that I would ever go back to church. But my God and my Father, because I was in a dire street. Hallelujah. But I remember I used to look down to the church and I remember the days when I was to spend because I am one like this. As long as the church door open, I don't like to be in my house and don't go to church. In the name of Jesus. So in those days, I could negotiate with God. Amen. He said, Lord, remember me. Yes, I, I was looking down. I could see where the church is and church is going and I couldn't be down there. But I remember the days when I was down there. Yes. So I am here to tell someone, while you're strong, go into the house of God. Yes. While you're strong, reverence God. While you're strong, read the Bible. While you're strong, because that day when you're weak, do it. Mighty I God of Daniel. And in that day, you will, you will need something to say, Lord, remember this. 
Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Remember thy congregation which thou hast purchased. Psalms 74 verse 2. Remember thy congregation which thou hast purchased of all. The rod of thy inheritance which thou hast redeemed from Mount Zion. Mighty God, the Mount Zion, we are all great God of heaven. Mighty God. I'm just picking up the scripture here as I go through. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In Mount Zion, we are thou dwell. Hallelujah. 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 Remember us, Lord. Remember us, Lord. Remember us, Jesus. Hallelujah. So there are things in our life that we don't want God to remember. And we're asking God not to remember those things. And that's why we have to also do good things. Great God of heaven. Because we cannot go to God in our time of trouble and negotiate with the bad things that we've done. Hallelujah. So that is the reason why in the midst, mighty God, of we doing all of these sinful acts that we're doing. Oh, great God of heaven. Remember thy creator in thy youth. Remember thy creator. Oh, great God of heaven. Hallelujah. Psalm 79, verse 8. Remember not again. Remember not against us, mighty God. Farmer, iniquity. Let not thy tender mercy, great God of heaven. Remember not against us, farmer, iniquity. Which one of us have not done some wrong in this life? Which one of us have not done some wrong? I know there's a lot of things, great God of heaven, that I've done in my life that I don't want God to remember. Mm. There's a whole lot of things in my life that I don't want God to remember. I want them to stay into the sea of forgetfulness, never to, oh, great God of heaven. And that is the reason why I have to try my best to stay in his presence. That is the reason why I have to try to walk into his precept, oh, great God of heaven, because the Bible said, oh, when a righteous man turns from his righteous ways, everything comes back in the name of Jesus. Likewise, when a sinful man turns from his wicked ways, great God of heaven, all those things is remembered no more. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. My God. Yes, Lord. So I'm telling somebody, and all of us have some wrongs in our life. Some of us wrongs might be bigger than some, but I am here to tell somebody tonight, if you want your wrongs to be forgotten, great God of heaven, then get right. In the name of Jesus. So in this psalm, David is pleading to God and said, remember not, my God. And I think why David is saying this, because David know that he has done some things that is not pleasing in the sight of God. Hallelujah. But David understand the mercies of God. David understand the grace of God. David understand the forgiving heart of, uh, of God. So David is saying, oh, oh, remember not against us, farmer iniquity. Let not thy tender mercy speedily prevent us oh great God of heaven for we are God very low Jesus. hallelujah Jesus hallelujah. Glory is there anyone in life tonight that have been brought very low I know I have been very low before yes. my God and Father my God I remember wrongs that have done and great God of heaven, it played me, it played me like a, oh great God. If I go to church, if them read a scripture, my ball, if them everything what them do, if them sing a song, my ball, because my iniquity, my sins have come back to haunt me in the name of Jesus. And I remember the merciful God I part day and part night. And I remember when the merciful God of all creation, our great God of heaven, the uh, uh, mother of a mother forgiven me this one, tell me God. I did not tell everybody. But the ones I tell them, say, Run, God forgive you. My God. My God. God. But I couldn't forgive myself. Jesus, my God. And I remember the individual who I wronged. God sent a word of forgiveness out of that person, out of the person, did not even know they were saying it. My God. Glory to your name, Jesus. Mighty God of Daniel. Jesus. And it is so that I receive the forgiveness of God. Jesus. When I hear it come out of the throat of the person that I offended. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. So David said, don't remember them things over the Lord. Don't remember them. Don't hold it against us, God. No. But mighty God of Daniel, yes. the only way that David could have said this is because David had repented yes. of the wrongs that he had done. Hallelujah. David have walked away from the things that he have done. 
Mighty God of Daniel. Sometimes I say in scripture, how is it in some of David's Psalm? David's right as if he never do no wrongs yet. But then I size it on my understand. David understand the mercies of God. Amen. David is not like us. That even when God forgive us sometimes, we still want to do it. Hallelujah. So I'm saying to somebody today, get right before the Lord. Yes. Because if you don't get right, all the wrongs that you've been doing, it's got a hole against you. If you don't get right, and the iniquity that you have done, it's going to be held against you in the name of Jesus. My God. So the only way that you can get rid of it is by getting right with God in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mighty God of Daniel, Ecclesiastes 12, verse 1. Remember, know that, oh, matter, matter of fact, I've been through that one already. Remember now that creator in thy youth. Mighty God of Daniel. Mm -hmm. Mighty God. But let me say something now. These are all the things that we're telling God to remember. Us. But how about the things that God wants us to remember? My God, my God. How about the things that want? God, God, God wants us to remember him too. Yes, hallelujah. And we're not asking this because he said it. Great God of heaven. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus. Mighty God of Daniel. And you know something? Hezekiah. Hezekiah was one. And that's why I'm telling somebody to today. The good that you do, you can use it to negotiate with God. Amen. In your time of trouble. Yes. And we're speaking scripture here tonight. Amen. The good that you have done, you can use it to negotiate with God in your time of trouble. Yes. Mighty God. Because I remember Hezekiah. My God, my God. Hey, hallelujah. hallelujah. Jesus. Yeah. I remember Hezekiah. Yeah, Jesus. When uh, Hezekiah was sick. Hallelujah, Jesus. And the prophet showed up to Hezekiah. Yeah. I say, uh, my God. The prophet Isaiah showed up to Hezekiah. And said, you're not coming after your bed, Hezekiah. This is it. <laughs> Hezekiah, you're not coming after your bed. This is it. And you know something? Young is going to hear that one day. No, well, we might not hear it like that, but it's going to be so. The young is going to know that one day. The old is going to hear that one day. And everyone else in between is going to hear that one day. Glory to God. It doesn't matter. Wash part of your back, you put your tail now. One day that tail will come down. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You might be young the one running across the field like a young filly. Or, 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 or a young bull. Hallelujah. Mighty God. I was one of those young bull. Running across the field, mighty God. Yeah. Hallelujah. But I am here to tell you that one day, one day, Hezekiah heard it. Hezekiah, you're not coming out of your bed. This sickness today is unto death, Hezekiah. This sickness today, Hezekiah, is unto death. Hallelujah. What will you do when you hear that? When you search back in your history and realize, Lord God, me never go to church for the past 25 years. Lord God, my grandmother bring me there when I was a child, but I have not gone back there in many years. Lord, I'm oh great God of heaven. Hallelujah, Jesus. Nothing to bargain with. Hallelujah. But thank God, Hezekiah had some bargaining trips. Yes, hallelujah. And Hezekiah Turn to the wall. My God. I am asking somebody to turn to the wall today. Hey, Jesus. Somebody that find themselves in a dire street. Turn your, turn your face and matter back to the wall today. Now stand up and look up in, in, in the sky uh, when I pray this time. Because this is a dire situation. Yes, yes, but turn your face to the wall. Cry in the name of Jesus. And cry out. Hey. And say, Lord. Hallelujah. Remember these things that I have done, Lord. Remember, mighty God, these things that I have done. Because Hezekiah was one that did a lot of good. Hallelujah. So he had some bargaining trips. So Hezekiah could bargain with God. Yes. And my God, didn't it work? Yes, it worked. Hallelujah. 15 years. Work on your bargaining trips tonight in the name of Jesus. 15 years was not it. My God. So Hezekiah that was set to die. Hezekiah was granted 15 years. There are many of us, my God and my father, that should have gone already. But still.
But the mercies of God. And when God look at some of the good deeds that we have done. He said I will extend. Yes. Oh great God of heaven. And it is scriptural. Because the Bible even tells you. Honor thy father and thy mother. That they, they may be wrong. Hallelujah Jesus. So yes. Even honoring your mother and your father is bargaining chips. Yeah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So Hezekiah pull out the bargaining chips. And God responded. And said alright Hezekiah. Hear you. All right, 15 more years, Hezekiah. Do we have some bargaining chips tonight? I am telling somebody, if you don't have your bargaining chips already, start building them up. Hallelujah. And a way that you can build up your bargaining chips is by even the people that you offend. Go and make it right. Amen. Even those that you have done wrongs. Yes. Go and make it right. right. In so doing, it's a way to build up your bargaining chips. Start doing something not just for yourself but for others. Amen. Start esteem higher, others higher than yourself. Yes. Build up your bargaining chips in the name of Jesus. Yes. That when you find yourself, go to the doctor and the doctor tell yourself, you know, look good. You can say, Lord, remember me, Lord. Yes. Remember me, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But also now, the Lord of all creation. He also asks us to remember him. And he said, hallelujah, this do he in remembrance of me. So now the Lord's Supper, that the Lord Institute, we know that the Lord's Supper sees now. But the Lord's Supper that the Lord Institute, that's one of the ways that he said, remember me. Amen. Glory to God. He said, do this every year. But I realized something, holy, that a lot of the people of God that are supposed to be living for God, when it comes to that time of the year, church that full from January, hard the way down from our from right now. But when it comes to that time of the year, most of the time church empty. So the time that God asks you to remember him and do this in remembrance of me, you don't do it. My God. Hallelujah. So I am here to tell somebody tonight. The Lord is asking us to remember him. Just like we ask him to remember us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And you cannot wait until your back is against the wall. To try to build up bargaining chips. Because you will, when you dig into your back, you will come up short. There will be nothing to bargain with. Mighty God of Daniel, you know, as this drop into my thoughts, the Lord said, forget not the assembling of one to another. Yes. Glory to God. So that's one of the ways to remember him. Amen. But I realized since COVID, hallelujah, a lot of people have deserted the house of God. Mighty Redeemer, Zoom is a good thing. YouTube is a good thing. But they have made some lazy Christian. Mighty These mighty days mighty in the name of mighty Jesus. Mighty and the Lord said, forget not the assembling of one to another. Yes. Mighty God. So these are things that the Lord is asking us to do. But yet still we stay in our house and don't go to the sanctuary. And I am here to tell somebody tonight. When you do that, you're dying slowly. Amen. Glory to God. You're dying slowly. The sanctuaries are empty these days. Yes, should. Things that the Lord said to remember. Remember to go into the sanctuary. And to worship him. Mighty God. In spirit and in truth. But no you want to stay at your house. Wrap up into your bed. Mighty God of Daniel. And that's who you want church. You want a McDonald type church. You want, you want a ready done type church. But I am here to tell somebody. It's a requirement. Hallelujah. This was not a part of the sermon tonight. But in the name of Jesus, maybe somebody needs to hear this. Somebody needs to go back to the house of God. Amen. Get out of your house. We don't have a comfort zone. And the Sabbath day. And go back to the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I think I'm going to wrap it up here in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, remember me. Oh, remember me. Oh Lord, remember me. And when the sea takes on thy 
Was it for a crime Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have done? Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. He grown upon the tree. Amazing peace, grace I know. Hallelujah, Jesus. I love beyond degree. Help me, dear Savior, to Hallelujah, Jesus. And it fully. And when thou see this on thy throne, Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Remember me, remember me, oh Lord, remember me, and when thou see it's on thy throne, oh In Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to give God thanks so mightily for using uh, the man of God to bring the word of God for his people. And as he asks God, you know, we read in the word and he give us the word. You know, ask the Lord to remind or remember us. Lord, remember me. Bless the name of the Lord. When we in our trials and our ups and downs, whatever situation we is, we have to ask God to remind or remember us, no matter what we're going through. Because we know that only God we can go to, go to. He's the only one who could deliver us in time of trouble, in situation. You know, and as he said in the word, that when we, we, we in situation, we have to accept. We have to accept our wrongdoing, you know. Mm -hmm. We can see, he talk about the, the thief. You know, he know what he do was wrong. He didn't exalt himself. He didn't puff up himself. But he humbled himself and said, Lord, remember me. And Jesus said, you in paradise. We bless the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So as we go through day by day and we hear the word of God, let us ask God every day, um, whatever the situation it is, you know, ask God to remember you. Mm -hmm. Bless the name of the Lord. So I want to give God thanks for you for giving us the word. May God continue as you'll be available for him. And may we use you mightily to continue to give, to fill the heart of God's people with the word of God. Praise we bless God. the name of the Lord. Praise, praise God. God. Praise, praise God. God. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Um, I was saying 218 is shelter in the time of storm because we know as we children of God, the only shelter we have is in God. And we know that without Him, we are nothing. So every day we have to ask Him to cover us and to protect us from any obstacle in our life, any ups and downs in Jesus' name. Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. And I'm going to ask Pastor Pray to close us in prayer and give the vote of thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. 218. The Lord arose in me in me high. I shall die in the time of song. Thy shall whatever may be thy. I shall die in the time of storm. Mighty rock is the rock. We know where we lie. Our where we lie. Our where we lie. Jesus is the rock. He knows where we lie. 
Thank you. 